It has been reported that a Tangled live action movie is happening at Disney. No, seriously, like Tangled is probably one of my top Disney movies of all time. I am super stoked. And a couple of months ago, I actually had the perfect fan casting that I shared on shorts, TikTok, Instagram, and it went pretty much viral everywhere. What an ego I had. So we're going to deep dive back into that fan casting in this video, and we'll see if any of my perfect choices have changed over the time. So grab some popcorn and let's dive into the perfect fan casting for a Tangled live action movie. So to begin with, we got to start with the Stabbington brothers. And my fan casting from a few months ago actually was the Weasley brothers. And that is James and Oliver Phelps. And honestly, I was met with so much repercussions. People were hating this fan casting. Let me explain myself. So first off, I went with looks, right? When you first fan cast someone, you always kind of go with a look or a vibe of the animated character to the live action actor that will represent them. And for me, these two fit because first off, they're twins right? They're perfect twins. Add a little bit of a red beard and have them gain some muscle mass, which Disney does perfectly fine with our Marvel movies. And these guys fit the vibe, man. Plus, this would provide them with an opportunity to showcase their range as actors and not just be the pranksters of the Weasley brothers. But over time, there was a couple people that came to me and was like, no, 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 no. We have the best fan casting. And trust me, it's good. And it's kind of grown on me. You should probably get checked. Now, granted, this is something that would have to come with budget and all the other stuff, which we know like the perfect fan castings always don't happen. But one of the best fan castings I heard for the Stabbington brothers was the Hemsworth brothers. OK, now this one I kind of agree with just because let's be honest, they're swole, good looking, and I could easily see them pulling this off. But really, when it comes down to these twins, they could literally take almost any actor and pretty much put them into this role. But let's be honest, if they do go with the Weasley brothers, marketing wise and business wise, you got that whole Harry Potter fandom that might just come see this movie just for them. And that's a lot of cheddar. Now, moving on to Pascal and Maximus. Now, these two could easily not have voice actors because obviously in a live action film, they would literally just be exactly that live action animals that don't speak. If they did, I could definitely see Alan to Dyke playing these characters. If you guys don't know, he's done so many voices in Disney animated films for animals specifically. Let him do these animal sounds. And I'm telling you, it'll feel so much more personable for each character. He is literally known as the animal guy in Disney. I went to Julia. Next up on the list is going to be Rapunzel's mom, Queen Ariana. Now, this one, I can't change my fan casting because it is so perfect, especially when you see who I fan cast for King Frederick. So for Rapunzel's mom, we need someone that is sweet, someone that has played potentially a queen before and can definitely get the job done because of her actress prowess in the industry. Plus, she knows what it takes to be a princess, and that is Anne Hathaway. Literally, as soon as I tried fan casting this Tangled live action movie, she was one of the first ones that came out of my mind to play the queen she's played a queen before in alice in wonderland and absolutely nailed that shiz and then going to king frederick which will be rapunzel's dad the first person that came to my mind that looks almost similar if he has the mustache the beard everything is john krasinski imagine jim halpert just being the best king and fatherly figure ever if that's not a power couple i don't know what is plus if you don't know in the real life world john krasinski used to joke around that he romanced emily blunt and married her because he couldn't get with Anne Hathaway. And he's still breathing because? But another great and probably the best fan casting for Rapunzel's parents, the king and queen, would easily be to bring back Zachary Levi and Mandy Moore. Like literally look at them and then look at the king and queen, bro. They could easily pull it off. And we know that Disney does this usually as like a one scene background actor, but it'd be great to have them actually as side characters that are in the story. Which leads me to the next character, the villain of the story, Mother Gothel. Now this one was a tough one for me because it has been a toss up between multiple actresses that could easily fit this role. 
People that have the actress prowess have been in the game for years, as well as look the part and can sing very well. So to start with, with my fan casting from a few months ago, I went with Katherine Hahn. If you guys don't know, Katherine Hahn played Agatha in the WandaVision series, so she already knows what it takes to be a witch. And literally just take that kind of look that she had there and apply it to Mother Gothel Disney, and I feel like the vibe fits. Now, I've never actually heard her sing, so that's probably a big thing that should happen, but Melissa McCarthy surprised me with Ursula recently, so I think anything can happen. But another person that's been definitely going around in fan castings that I'm starting to become accustomed to and kind of liking is the one and only Cher. And yes, she's up there in age, so she fits the older look and then getting younger, which they can easily do with CGI because they did fantastic in Indiana Jones, but makes me super excited because she still looks great for her age. And we already know that she can easily belt out a tune. Well, he's not wrong. So Mother Knows Best would easily be on the top charts after this live action movie comes out. I bet money on it if Cher plays Mother Gothel. But whoever does play this role has to be really, really good because Mother Gothel is literally one of the driving figures because she's the villain, but also just in general, there's a big fan base around Mother Gothel. So literally it has to fit. It has to be good. And Disney's got to nail this one. So between these two actresses, I think they have a good shot. And of course, you got the snuggly duckling, which I'm wearing. Goons that we have to cast, right? Well, a lot of them already had good voice actors that I think could easily play the live action versions of them. And specifically, Hookhand, who was played by Brad Garrett. He can easily just take it over because this man has an acting prowess. When he's on stage, you know that it's going to be funny. As for the rest of the bar thugs from Snuggly Duckling, I honestly think a lot of these could be played by new upcoming faces in the acting world. Disney is a big thing where they like to bring back either like has been or like not working as much actors or literally fresh faces to play big characters or side roles. And I think the roles of the goons could easily be ones that could be taken over by these folks. Now, one character I don't know if they will cast, but I hope they might is Cassandra from the Tangled TV series. And if they do, I kind of am feeling someone and specifically was just in a Disney film and a live action at that. And that is Jessica Alexander because she did a phenomenal job as the Ursula on land in the live action Little Mermaid. Like literally just trust me on this one. It's a very weird choice. It's a newer actress, but I'm telling you, if you go and watch her scenes again, you're probably going to be like, I can see it. I can see it. Other than that, Cassandra is a newer character and a lot of people don't know her from the TV show. So I don't know if they'll necessarily put her at least in the first live action Tangled. If there's a second one that comes out, sure. I just don't know if this character will be in the first live action. Next up is our boy Flynn Rider, which this one is going to be tough because if you guys didn't know when they created Flynn Rider, the animators and directors and everyone in the crew that worked on Tangled went and talked to over a hundred women and asked what their favorite features features of a handsome man were and pretty much put them all together in a package deal to create Flynn Rider. This man is one of the most beautiful princes I've ever seen in my entire life. Sorry, Aladdin. So seriously, when it comes to casting this man, it is probably going to be the most controversial casting out of any character in this live action movie. So when I did my casting, it seemed like a lot of people agreed and they did like him, especially because he is growing as an actor as he was just in House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones spinoff show. This man fits that vibe. People think he's attractive. He has the hair. He has the look. Looks, he might be the guy. And that is Fabian Frankel. This guy literally looks like a Flynn Rider. He's young enough to be able to pull off the stunts, and I feel like he has a smolder under there somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely couldn't be me. But another one that used to be a great actor and was with Disney before that I could see them easily bringing back and pushing forward as Flynn Rider is Greg Sulkin. Now tell me you can't picture him as Flynn Rider. Just think on that one. Now that's amazing. And then the moment we've all been waiting for, who is my perfect fan casting for Rapunzel? So to begin with, I want to go ahead and answer the elephant in the room because I've been seeing this fan cast all over the place, including on all of my videos that have gone viral of my fan casting. No, I don't see where this, this choice is coming from. And it's probably because she's in the news. She's in a ton of movies here recently, and she's a great actress, but she just doesn't fit that hyper teenage boppity boo uh, princess. And that's Florence Pugh. Get her out of your guys' fan castings. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't fit. She'll probably never do it. And on top of it, it's just not a role for her. Look at every role she's ever played and none of them 
fits Rapunzel, guys. I don't see where you're getting this from. So we'll go with my perfect fan casting, which it seems like I got a lot of great reviews from people being like, oh yes, I totally forgot about her. And she fits the vibe, man. She's slightly older, so I don't know if it's someone that they'll go with. And that is Anna Sophia Robb. She has the green eyes, the blonde hair. She still looks young enough to do it as well. And she can easily sing. But knowing Disney, they'll probably go with, again, a rising star, just like the Moana live action. It's exciting to bring someone in for the lead role that literally this is their first chance and could literally blow up their career so it makes me excited either way and there you guys have it that is my perfect fan casting for pretty much every main character that is going to be entangled what do you guys think of my fan casting make sure you guys comment below who you guys would cast for each one of these roles because i want to see your guys's perfect fan castings as well make me see the light i see what you did there and until next time i'll see you at the movies